All right, here we are at our roughly 466 foot floating cabin for sale here on the beautiful fresh waters in Norris Lake, Tennessee. Current mooring spot is transferable. We are on the north side of Norris Lake at a marina fairly close to I-75, very, um, very near the town of Jacksboro, Tennessee. Now this is um this is an interesting setup here. We've we've essentially got three structures. Okay, we've got the main cabin that's a uh, roughly a 16 by 26 foot three inch cabin that's constructed on a 16 by 32 foot float. And then next to that, we have a roughly 10 foot six inch by 32 foot float that has an eight by 10 cabin on it might call it the in-law suite and then where I'm standing now is roughly a 12 feet 4 inch wide by 43 foot dock with roughly a I believe that was about a 12 by 15 foot covered patio and we've got a four step swim boarding ladder so the main cabin is roughly 396 square feet plus a loft guest cabin is roughly 66 square feet so if we combine those we come up with a actually I already forgot it now I believe it was about a 462 am I right on that let me double yeah for roughly 462 square feet of under roof living space now that does not account for the loft which is another 126 foot square feet um, now we don't count that because that is just under five feet in height at the center we'll see that here in a few moments but if you combine all of that you're you're roughly 588 square feet of living space but now we're not counting the loft but this is a um so we're gonna work essentially it's a one bedroom one bath it's capable of sleeping eight to ten <laughs> Uh, but it's more like a two-bedroom, one bath, plus a loft. So anyway, we're here for our video walkthrough tour. And as usual, we invite you to visit our website, which is at www.yournewboat.com for the full list of features and specifications on this one. You'll find the current asking price there. We won't mention in the video tours because those will often change until a listing is sold. But if you take the time, if you're, if you're serious um potential buyer for this one or have serious questions please take the time to either open up a new tab um, or a web browser type in our website address yournewboat.com click enter once that loads you're going to see that orange lettering on there that means you're at the right place look for the find your new boat button in the top left hand corner when you click that you're going to scroll down everything's in order of price you're not going to be overwhelmed with inventory you're going to be able to easily find this one again it's the uh, 462 square foot floating cabin you'll see some exterior photos of it uh, we just finished up getting some uh, aerial uh, drone photographs you'll be able to recognize this one right away and, and when you do you're going to see the asking price listed right there you don't have to contact us to get the asking price uh, we're, we're going to have it on the website we just don't we just don't uh, put those in the video tours because those will often change until listing is sold and website is where you're going to find the current status of all of our inventory you'll be able to easily see that it's st still available and of course our contact information is going to be right there along with the all the specs on this one all the particulars you'll be able to reach out to us by phone by text or by email uh, we do ask if you send us an email if you haven't received a response in one business day please check your spam folder and if you call us on the phone and you miss us if you get our voicemail and you want to return call all you got to do is leave a message uh, if you leave a detailed message let me know which listing you're looking at what questions you have as soon as we get back in cell phone range or finish up with a customer we'll return that call have all your questions answered for you so there are there are several locations that do not have uh cell phone service around the lake so that is why you'll sometimes just you know, go to our voicemail and if you don't leave a message we will not know that you called uh this location today where we are uh we're very close proximity to jacksboro tennessee good cell phone service is available here all right so let's get on we've got through the public service announcements let's get on with our video walkthrough tour the four step swim boarding ladder there um oh i wanted to talk about one more thing before we went inside we do have some old styrofoam flotation under the deck uh, on 
pretty much every structure here. And you see what looks like the newer style tanks under the main cabin there. Um, there are some lift tanks uh, distributed throughout um, all three structures. And that's what you're looking at up there near the uh, front is a pair of lift tanks. Uh, but mixed in with those lift tanks is still uh, the unencapsulated styrofoam flotation. Now, uh, per the new TVA regulations, all of that does have to be replaced. You got plenty of time to do that. That doesn't have to be finished up until the year 2031. So you've got you've got uh, roughly 10 years to get that flotation uh, replaced and traded out with the new style fully encapsulated styrofoam flotation. So, all right, I think we spent enough time out here on the um, side decks. Uh, we've got essentially lumber decking, and then again, a mix of styrofoam flotation and some lift tanks. And then the cabin, both of these cabins were newly redone in the last two years. And we've got vinyl siding, vinyl windows, uh, metal roof. And we've got roughly 350 feet of shore power cable that is providing power out here. Give you another little 360 because it does look like we're getting ready to lose our lighting while we're here, but we might also have a beautiful sunset to take in. So we're here on the uh, front porch area. We've got uh, water, some electric out here. We've got some uh, exterior lights. All of these, this lighting on this one inside and out. Um, again, because this was essentially all we've done in the last two years. That's all new, all the wiring, plumbing, electrical. May have already said that, <laughs> but it is all new and, and the lighting is all LED. So here we are in the main cabin. Again, this is the um, roughly um, 300, 96 square feet, I think it was. And we've got some newly redone cabinets. These were all powder coated recently. And I just think they did an amazing job. Beautiful sink. Do you have a microwave? We are on city water here. And your electric is metered, so you're only gonna only gonna pay for what you use. And then we've got a whirlpool. This is about two years old, large whirlpool side by side, refrigerator and freezer. Breaker's just been flipped off for this one. That's why you don't see a light or anything on the on the exterior there. That is all all working. Then here in this uh, living room kitchen area, we've got about an 11 foot eight inch cathedral ceiling. We've got um, about seven uh, feet of headroom in your master bedroom and in the bathroom. And then there you can see the uh, loft up there overhead. We've got a um, split air heating and cooling system. That is about a, um, it's about a 15,000 BTU if I remember correctly. I think it's somewhere between 12 and 18. I'll have that listed at the website. Another advantage of, to making the uh, trip over to the website, I will have that listed. But that does heat and air. And this is a queen size futon here in our living room. Now there are some things that are excluded, mainly uh, the boards that are on the wall, your wall hangings, uh, decor pieces of the um, surfboards are excluded. Most everything else is gonna be staying except with the, uh, with the bedding on this one. The mattresses are all staying. Those are all memory foam. And they're all new within the last within the last two years. All right, let's head to our master bedroom first. This is a king size master bed. Give about seven seven feet of headroom in here. Got a little uh, built-in nightstand over here on this side. We've got some really cool um, boat cleat clothes hangers, and then basically they they added this. Um, uh, that little wall fan, they were worried about it uh, possibly being um, too warm in here in the evenings with that um, heat and air unit out in the living room. I actually have not really needed it at all. Um, I'm going to only use it for some ambient noise. 
Got a nice, uh, cool little barn door. Sliding door in there. It's going to close this off. Again, so, all right, king size master bed, LED lighting, seven feet of headroom. And then over here, just on the other side, is your full bath. Also have a there's sliding door right here. And that is a marine head, approximately about a um, 80 gallon waste holding tank. Got a walk-in shower, Let's move around here. 20, or actually it's a 19 gallon electric water heater. And this is a marine head, so that's why you've got a, uh, you see a little marine battery there. There's a little onboard uh, battery charger for it. And your water heater's back there as well. Uh, your marine heads are powered by 12 volt power. And here's your breaker panel here as well. So here's that shower. And then just beyond it, we've got a little vanity sink. Very cool nautical decor throughout. And then right here in between our um, kitchen, living room, and bathroom, we have a plumbed in or plumbing for a washer and dryer. Never been hooked up, but you've got your water hookups here. And then uh, just behind that wall plate there is the wiring. So you've got, you've got the ability to um, add a washer and dryer if you so desire. Take a look at this loft area. We've, we've got basically some um, some old fire engine steps to get up here. The kids are really going to enjoy. And two full-size beds up here. LED lights around the floor. Some outlets. You got your, uh, your light switch up here. Kids are going to get a kick out of that. Again, um, I believe this was about 129 square feet up here in this loft area, uh, but we can't officially count that because your uh, your clearance right here in the middle at the tallest point is right about uh, four feet five inches to give you a feel for that, and that's both of those are going to taper down to the edges on either side. So in that square footage total um, that we gave to not um, and what's listed on the website is not going to account for this loft area. But it is additional sleeping space and that's usually what you're needing when you're at the lake. Let's head over and check out the guest cabin. I think I touched on that futon earlier. That is a queen size. So you have a king master, two full sizes in the loft, queen futon, and then a small little guest cabin with another queen bed. Now that wall hanging there that's um, behind your uh, or above the bed right there about the center of the frame that is not included um that's one of the other few personal items along with the bedding on this one that is it is going to be excluded nice insulated sliding door and then right over here we've got a, a, a window air conditioning unit that is a 6000 btu capacity um window ac unit Again, led lighting in here just very neatly done. So that's going to start to wrap things up for us here. Again, I'm going to have all these sizes listed at the website. Uh, this is a really neat floating cabin for sale here on the beautiful freshwaters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. Again, between now and the year 2031, um, you've got some flotation that needs to be re redone on this one, but otherwise this is a pretty turnkey setup. Again, so we're calling, we're going to call it, we'll probably refer to this as a uh, two bedroom plus a loft.
paddle boat just right here behind me. Let me step back a little bit. This paddle boat is included as well. Again, please visit the website. Reach out to us with any questions. Don't hesitate to leave us a message if you miss us. We, we do return um, emails and calls. And we're usually pretty quick about it. It's just that sometimes we're not with we're not in an area with cell phone reception. But that is going to start to wrap things up for us here today. Again, with this beautiful little 396 square foot main cabin, 462 square feet under roof, not counting the loft. They see a two bedroom, one bath plus a loft great little uh, outdoor space part of that covert swim boarding ladder and a great uh, great view out here you're gonna have a nice sunset view at this particular mooring location just about every night you can visit the website www.yournewboat.com for more information or to contact us. And I thank you again for joining us. Again for this 462 square feet floating cabin for sale. You'll see the yournewboat.com logo pop up in the top right hand corner of the screen. That's just a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already. We're always happy to have you additional subscribers. And that's a great way to be notified of new inventory as it comes available in our area. Thank you again for joining us.